Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kay Thorne, and welcome to something a bit different and not usually discussed within the YouTuber community, aside from some small occurrences. To begin, if you have an open mind, then please stay for the rest of the video. If you are closed-minded, I'd like to advise turning away, as this video is highly opinion-based from my own experiences and ideas. I'm open-minded myself, and it's why I'm going to attempt to cover this topic. I'm not looking for any hate on other religions. What I'm looking for is a basic question answered, and I'm answering it in my opinion here. And in the comments, I'm wanting your opinion as well. Now, the closed mind, now that the closed-minded aren't watching, I want to state the question I'm going to answer, and have you guys answer as well. Could society survive without religion? To answer, as we all go through life, we all hear about different religions. We hear the positives, the negatives, we even see both in our day-to-day -day lives. But it's usually only about major religions that we see this on, you know, Christianity, Judaism, and Islamic. But the minor religions get classified into a group of pagan and thrown no attention or sometimes only negative or sometimes positive. Now, I feel every religion's basically just a morality checkbook. It's focused around a deity, whether one or more, and has you learn it from a teacher. Someone teaches it to you and teaches you how to pray or do whatever that religion believes is supportive of that deity and that religion itself. Growing up, I was taught religion's religion. It doesn't make who you are. And it's the way you act that makes who you are. And in all honesty, I think and feel society, society itself, society, wow. I don't know how I messed up saying that. Uh, but I think that society could function without any form of religion. And some may say that religion's taken too seriously by some. I support religion in society. I think that it's a positive thing in most cases. Now, I think also religion's core on its own, the base moralities and the reason to keep hoping when shit's tough, is needed. And that's why I think religion's good in its positive states. Now, I also feel that we could learn all of this from somewhere other than religion. Maybe we learn it on our own, like I did. I didn't, I've never really believed in a single religion. I've just learned about them and let my knowledge just be of the base moralities and that they each see that you got to keep going when stuff is rough. Now, I learned from myself. I think that we could also learn from friends or family on it or even teachers at school could teach us this as a base lesson in say kindergarten or something you know kindergarten first grade second grade you're learning this as well as from your parents and your friends you know that we get to believe in ourselves that we'll always make it through something because we're given a tough time to make us a better person sometimes and I know it's a sensitive topic and that's why I'm covering it, because I'm willing to be completely open-minded on this. Now, I'm looking for your opinions, your answers to this, because it's not a community without an answer coming back, right? So again, the question is, could society survive without religion? Leave your answer below of why you think it could, why you think it couldn't, and I'm going to leave the comments unrestricted because I think the community will be able to handle itself. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. <laughs> Maybe I'm hoping for a lot here, but I pray that I'm not because it's pretty awesome. If the community can handle itself and give some respectful answers and polite answers that are, you know, just their own view and their own opinion, we have an unrestricted comment character limit so it now actually allows for a question like this to be 
covered by me because I want your full opinion. So let's hear it. Now, I also expect the community, if something offends you guys, mark it as spam. If something offends me, I may mark it as spam. And that'll be because it offended me. And not to cover that person's offense, but more to help avoid offending someone else. And that's really what I hope the community knows how to do. Is if you think it's gonna if you think you'd be offended by it if you were someone else, don't post it. So Thank you guys for watching. Again, my name is Kaythorn, and I'll see you guys in the next one where I'm hopefully on my motorcycle again with a microphone. Bye.